Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Come at you on the Tuesday, June 2nd, after one of the more frustrating days in a long time. Um, for old Privateer, let's take a look uh, where we are and what happened. Let's let's go to Cad Yen. Uh, we talked about it at the open. We wanted to be long Cad Yen. Um, and we were in the 60s, 78, 60, I think, I think we opened up, we bought 51s, and then we bought 60s, I think our average was uh, 53, and then we had that one comment, which kind of screwed the whole day, in a sense, the soybean comment, took Cad Yen um, down to 16, we scurried out of our uh, long position at 20, um, and that was the end of that. Cad Yen, of course, went up another 120 points. We were not long. Uh, we took a small loss there. Kiwi, same thing. Uh, we're talking about long Kiwi at uh, 40. I think we were long at 33. Soybean Comet, bang. 62.25. We basically scratched that. But the point is, we're not long anymore. Uh, it turns out the soybean comment was quite spurious. Nobody really knows what the hell is going on. Um, the price of soybeans didn't move at all. That should have been telling. Uh, but instead of just either squaring, um, I was bright enough to get short um, Aussie Yen, because I thought this was the beginning of the trade war. Here's your soybean bar. Bearish engulfed. Um, so we got short in the 40s. Uh, then we killed it up at 58. It's no big deal. Uh, it's not the end of the world. We've taken losses before. We're very disciplined with our stops as a rule, which is why we're still in business after 30 years. But incredibly frustrating. Um, and there's some lessons to it. Uh, knee jerk trading on headlines is not our game. Uh, price is our guide. But also, um, it's such a fine line. There's so many ways you can get fucked over in this business. Uh, so you just have to remain disciplined. You have to remain uh, constantly vigilant against all the ways you can screw this up. Um, so, anyway, that going forward. That said, going forward, uh, tactical book is square. The trend book's only short dollar Swiss. It's not really, we've been short dollar Swiss for months now. Not really doing too much. Um, waiting for our next entry in the trend book. Uh, what's it going to be? For now, we really don't know. Let's look Let's look at what's going on here. Equities remain bid. Um, 30, 40. Not really doing much. Don't really know what to do here. The 200 day is at 3,000. That's kind of important. Why complicate this? Um, we don't feel comfortable being long this stuff. We certainly don't want to be short it. Tactically, if we short it, we'll short it at sort of one standard deviation move today, um, which at the top, off the top of my head, will be around 3088. Um, so we probably won't be trading yesterday. I don't think we're going to see 3088. Um, Aussie, RBA was, uh, I would say they were mildly positive, but they didn't really say much. They were neutral. They're confused like the rest of us. 23% um, off the lows. 23%. It's amazing. Off the lows. This is Aussie. We saw some standing offers up here. Uh, figure 10. Uh, they've now been filled. Where's Aussie going? I don't know. Looks pretty robust though, doesn't it? Um, that move in Asia yesterday through 6082 really really had legs. We never really even challenged 68 the figure again. I think the low was 68.15. Um, not sure what to do with Aussie. I certainly don't want to be long it. 
uh, heading into what I think is inevitably going to be a trade war. Maybe 68.50 today uh, for a short. We shall see. Aussie yen. Don't even want to look at it. Annoying me. Uh, and when it annoys you and you're emotional about it, don't trade it. So, uh, But it does look bid. Uh, where's your next resistance? I don't know. Not trading it. Here's the other conundrum in all of this uh, craziness. Dollar CAD. What the hell happened to Dollar CAD? Um, huge move. 2% move yesterday. Uh, are we going to fill this gap to 134.40? Maybe. Does this make any sense, this move? Absolutely not. Um, BOC is tomorrow. So I guess we're just clearing out all of the long dollar cads out there. Crude is uh, 35.60, not doing too much. We were sort of up and down yesterday, but nothing really classic. Precious metals aren't doing too much, pretty quiet. No idea why um, dollar cad is here. One thing we do know um, is this euro cad level is of interest so we talked about it a few days ago 150 50 tidy little number um, no idea why we're here this makes absolutely no sense at all um, but it's a dandy looking chart and CAD is just doing what it's doing um, so we'll have to see keeping a very close eye on this uh, Euro CAD 150.50. Um, let's check our old friend Dollar Czar. Didn't do too much. We avoided we avoided it yesterday. We're looking at ways to get long Dollar Czar. Looks like we're going to have to wait for 17 the figure um, to really sink our teeth into this. This looks like we're going to consolidate and then head lower. So. Uh, we're in waiting mode in dollar cad tactically we don't have a trade the tactical trade is actually to sell through 30 so keep that in mind if you're if you're feeling uh, nimble and tactical with dollars are but certainly not a thematic for us the other side of that is is more for our theme book our global macro sort of trend following book what else euro uh, not doing much the research out there is saying how crowded this trade is now. Tons of people uh, are long gamma. That means they own topside options. So volatility should be reduced. Um, this is just a buy on dip for us. Uh, you want to buy, recycle, collect, uh, range trade this on the long side. So try and collect, collect profit by range trading this on the long side. Will we get through 111 the figure today? Yeah, probably. Um, just because uh, it gets really seriously supported at 110.30. Um, so somewhere between 110.30 and 111 you want to buy, recycle. Um, can't really marry it yet because it looks like everyone's long this stuff. That said, uh, prices above 111.50 for whatever reason um, will be very, very meaningful. But keep in mind, uh, ECB on Thursday, um, our old gal pal, uh, Chrissy Lagarde, on the microphone. Let's check out Bitcoin. It's fucking around as always. Uh, but we're approaching um, interesting levels, right? 10,000. 575 on the futures. Um, 10,660 was that high. This looks like a break trade to me. Uh, I don't know. I've never really done a break trade in Bitcoin. Um, but if you've been collecting on low ones, uh, you're in good shape. This does look like it is eventually going to break higher. All of this uh, chaos and all of this financial repression which what is what does financial repression mean it's it's a mean word it basically means um quantitative easing so controlling bond prices uh this creates a positive environment for bitcoin 
um, this will probably continue higher. Watch this 10 600 level in uh, in the old Bitcoin. Not much on the uh, calendar today. Our RBA is over. Uh, we have PMI out of Norway and, and Switzerland. We got some central bank uh, bullshit out of Sweden. Um, no real major data uh, in the U.S. or emerging markets. So, just watching the charts. Um, Eurocad is uh, is the bugaboo today. Makes absolutely no sense. Dollar CAD looks like it's oversold. We're bullish Euro dollar. Why is Eurocad um, going to go lower? Don't know. Um, but this looks like it's one of these uh, close your eyes, trade price type of situations. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.